Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. Uh, I've come back to the round table hold because there's one thing we need to take care of, and that is upgrade a spirit ash to its maximum. I found a great grave glove wart. There's one in crumbling fair Missoula. Uh, I think I picked it up on the last playthrough. I just didn't have the materials needed until like to get to plus nine. Um, I don't know that shouldn't have shouldn't that have given me an achievement or something? Whatever trophy, not achievement. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, that's like the last thing I worry about. But we do have a plus ten spirit ash now, uh, and that means we can move on with the actual game. So this part is. Well, we have Malekith, and we also have the Draconic Tree Sentinel, who's actually probably not going to be easy. Because this thing deals some nutty damage. And speaking of nutty damage, that's basically the same thing with Malekith too, so... We'll see what happens. Um, let's just try and fight this thing first. Fuck. So if I remember correctly, the... Oh, no. The way I did this last time around is... Essentially, I just baited out the... The flame attack. And I think that's how I'm gonna do it this time around as well. I have combat, which is a faster spell, so... You know... It's gonna be probably a little bit easier. God, the tracking on combat is shit. Fuck, oh god, no, 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 no. That tracks so much. It's like way worse than the Nito attack. Because it actually, if you notice, if you look at it, it like spawns three lightnings and they actually follow you. It's really annoying. So yeah, this is gonna be basically my tactic um, I don't know if there's a better way to do this I don't think so we're just gonna have to sort of somehow slog through this and yeah that's about it can I get two of these charged in there I messed up. Shit. He has so much HP. Jesus. This this boss, his it's not even a boss. This guy is taking quite a few attempts, let me tell you. Uh it's just not easy. Uh, just because of the amount of damage he outputs. One mistake and I'm screwed, so... Well, two mistakes, maybe. I'm trying to be really patient because this is actually the best I've ever done. If I can get him stuck in the loop of just... Not going for melee... Finally! <sighs> that took quite a bit. Yeah, uh, that's an understatement. Yeah, we got his stuff, and... Is that the runes you get from him? 28k? That's all you get? Tasty. That's quite tasty. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure it's worth fighting this thing. I mean, obviously the, the biggest advantage is the ease. Like, it's way easier to run to Malekith when you're not dealing with this thing. Uh, although, because fog gates actually do give you invulnerability in this game, it really doesn't matter in the end, does it? So, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go back. I don't even care about the 28k. And it's Malekith time. That's all I can say. 
Not Morbin time, but Malekith in time. Uh, let me just try this. Is there a chance that this is gonna work? I'm not sure. I am legit not sure, but it's worth a try. It sort of worked for... It's definitely not gonna work on phase two, but it sort of worked for Godskin Duo, although that's that's the type of boss where this type of shit works. Uh, these like blast tactics, because they tend to just like walk towards you slowly. Mm, I'm a bit more skeptical with this Beast Clergyman fight. At least I have plus 10 summons, so... Let's do this. Boys. So that sort of worked. If I had the physic on, I had the correct physic on, but <sighs> sort of what I was afraid of. I mean, yeah, it, it works. <laughs> it works. It's just the execution. This is the phase I'm scared of. Uh, this is the one that's going to be a little bit more. Well, who knows? I think he's gonna like one shot me basically. This is a cool cutscene, and he's a, I like the design of him. I do like these. This is like the sort of evolution of Sif, just very, very anime. I feel like my really real feeling is that I'm not gonna be able to hit him with my current spells. Comet is or for sure not. Just gonna immediately heal. Like right fucking now. See, I think like Great Glintstone is like what I'll have to stick with. Oh, come on, spell management. I don't even... I'm, I'm like scrambling. I'm totally scrambling. That's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. Well, this wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, attempt-wise. But it did sort of go exactly how I thought it would go. I feel like... I'm gonna do well against him and then he's just gonna absolutely demolish and blast me and that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Uh, so if I can get my setup. The thing is he's gonna immediately aggro at this point. Uh, Terra Magica. Okay, I'm on the, good, the right setup. Maybe it's better to use my physic flask. Nah, I'm not sure. Okay. Pop this. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I have to I like have to get behind him. Shit. Maybe the Terra Magica stuff is not gonna work for this boss, the setup. I have my doubts. It definitely worked on the first attempt because he doesn't aggro till late, but 
I think I might just have to go with the standard shit. Okay, pop the boys. God, it's difficult to get behind him. Okay. Boys, get to work. I swear that attack is impossible to avoid. Go with this. Don't ask me how that didn't kill me. Wrong spell. Okay. <laughs> this is about as chaotic as... <sighs> I think I'm gonna deal more damage this way. Yep. Need magic. If I don't get blasted, I think this has a chance of being it. Tracks like ass to spell. I'm healing after everything, I'm not even risking it. Shit. The boys are dying and I'm wasting my. Oh, come on, just get to a place where I can hit you. Kill him. Are you kidding? I'm out of MP. <laughs> oh man, that was the biggest scramble ever. <laughs> the boys came through once again. That was insane. That was insane. And I know people usually shit on you if you use spirit summons. I, I so don't care. I so don't care. I want to steamroll the game because I'm finally an OP sorcerer and I have a chance to steamroll everything. So I'm going to use the opportunity, believe me. We still have plenty of difficult bosses coming up, don't even worry about that. But man, this, this spirit summon is super useful. Super, super useful. The rune of death is unbound. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. Look at these dudes with their boom boxes. Nice set piece, though. Oh shit, I've never seen the loading thing like that. Well, you don't see it often. This game is pretty good at masking the load times. <laughs> Look at our little witch hat. That's the sorting hat for sure. Alright, here we are, Lane Dell, Ashen Capital, and we actually have a ton of time. We have a ton of time in this video, still, because that barely took any. I was expecting Malekith to take a couple of more attempts, I'm not going to be uh, lying here. Um, well, who knows what... Okay. Who knows what else will uh, turn out to be insanely easy. And 
what else will turn out to be insanely difficult this is uh i think yeah that's faith and that is faith cool then i'm not gonna mess around time to use all of these we are going all out wow that doesn't give you a lot That doesn't give you a lot either. Yeah, going, going all out is the name of the game, I think, from now on. Uh, let me... Yeah, get, get me that sweet 50 vigor. That sweet, sweet 50 vigor. Uh, no more dialogue. We can actually pick up the next... Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. That's gonna be pretty important. Is this guy still here? His little red ghost. And he just says the same thing. I know he's needed for a new ending. And I know I didn't go for the Fia ending. I'm gonna be honest with you. I totally forgot. Um, I'm, I'm not even gonna sort of deny that that was anything else than me forgetting that I said I would go for the Fia ending. Well, all it is is just a palette swap. Cool. Anyways, you can still access the sewers. It's not an issue. Yeah, you can. It's still that you go for it. It's just, eh, at this point. Let's just go for the actual ending. It's all about the build anyways. Less about which palette swap ending I go for. So laying down Ash and Capital, there is one thing we need to do here. As I said, and that is to get the the other somber ancient dragon smithing stone, which is not this way. But this way. Uh, it's not this way, but there's something here. Which I want to take a look at. Some treasure. I <laughs> I thought there was a gap there. I thought there was a gap there and I was going to die. But hey. No worries on that front. I'm not even making any sense. Like this is... I'm so like shook by me beating Malekith this easily that I don't even know what to talk about. Oh, what the hell is this? It's a crafting material, isn't it? I think you have these like scattered throughout. Fuck, how do you get to... The round table hold area. It's like right there. Oh, no, 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 you still have to go up the dragon. My bad. There we go. That's more like it. I didn't I don't think you needed to mirror's edge up the dragon, but might as well do it, right? And here we go. So there's the gargoyle. What the hell is up with my... Why is it showing my souls as if I dropped them? Or my runes? Eh, whatever. I don't remember whether you actually need to kill this thing or not. Or if it's just here. I think it's just here. Yep. Alright. I'll take that. I'll take that to get my sword up to plus 10. I don't even remember when I last used my sword. 
Uh, there we go. His kind of his story is kind of sad. It's prepared to cry edition for sure. And he is one of the better black twins. I think he's way better than uh, Dark Souls Three Andre. Dark Souls Three Andre is so boring that it's like difficult to talk about him. He just doesn't do shit compared to how Andre was in Dark Souls One. Uh, but this guy, this guy's a little bit more interesting. Speaking of interesting, we're gonna have an interesting boss fight right about now. Goddamn, what's his name? Gideon Ofnir. I don't know why his name to me is like those weird aliens from Doctor Who that make you forget when you stop looking at them. I can never remember Gideon Ofnir's name and I don't know why. I'm always like, you know, the guy, you know. I think everybody knows. So we're gonna pay him a visit and he's again he's gonna be really interesting. I had a lot of trouble with him on playthrough one. An incredible amount of trouble. Uh, he was really annoying. But I might just, if he turns out to be annoying here as well, I might just get the boys to help me. I my big feeling is that he's going to be really dodgy. He's going to be rolling all, all around the screen and I'm not going to be able to hit him. Plus again, I have a sneaking suspicion that he has some insane resistances to magic. Okay, we got the steak of Marika. Let's do this. He has this spell too. He cheats with a lot of shit too. Like, see, this is what I'm talking about. First of all, obviously, he has infinite MP. Yeah, heal bitch. Speaking of cheating. And fuck that doesn't go through actual. Man. Does that go through? The thing is, um, I was having a harder time against him in melee on playthrough 1. I think it might be a little bit more difficult with melee. Do you see how insanely quick he is? Cheater. I'm using... Ah, wrong flask. Jesus. He can spam combat that quickly. He must have like insane stats. I'm not sure if he is just like an NPC that they give an HP bar to or if he's like an actual like boss you like unique boss character because you know the NPC like invaders and shit do legit have like stats like you would uh, I hate that spell. Wrong spell. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I should be using fucking uh, Loretta's great bow. It does not go through. Good to know. You can just spam like an insane amount of 
projectiles at you. See, this is the... Difficult. He's difficult. Still, I don't think he's gonna be as bad as last time. Because he doesn't really have any... Just think about how much stamina he needs to have to be able to pull that shit off. What he's doing right now. Fuck. There's like really no good spell to open up with when you think about it. Because he like dodges everything. Come on. I cannot believe that still hit me. Are we just stun locking the hell out of him with carry and slicer? Is that the way to go? What did he just do? I'm trying to get him to blow up the the shield he has going. Shit! That seriously didn't hit? Okay. We need a break. We need to get back on that carry and what the okay. We need to get back on that carry and slicer. It's still not broken. Uh, the, the shield he has going. He's insane. He's insane. Just like, he has like infinite stamina, uh, an infinite MP I can understand, obviously. He only uses magic, but it's the stamina that's a little bit nutty. Fuck this dude. He can get stun locked to hell for all I care. Yeah, not so fun now, is it? Yeah, he just has his stamina is ridiculous. Like Am I hitting him? I don't even know. Wrong flask. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the boys out here because uh, he's starting to annoy me. This like roll around and spam spells shit is fun for a while, but it just gets you know nutty after a while. I just want to see if I can stun lock him to death.
I can. Cool. Thanks, boys. <laughs> He's still going at it. I think I think you've got him. You got him, so GG's. And this would be like a fun uh, sorcery match, you know, if I just went just spells only and he goes spell spells only. But he's like so overtuned uh, with the stamina. Again, it's not even his variety and like the amount of damage he deals. It's it's simply the it's simply the thing the the stamina that he has basically has infinite stamina. Does the thing count as a the scepter does that count as a weird or does it count as like a regular weapon it does interesting or is that not a staff what whatever whatever i thought you could use that to cast spells like he does but i'm guessing not his set is pretty cool too. Um, not as cool as my little witch hat combo, but but he's cool. Anyways, we're gonna go now and hit up the bonfire just before Godfrey. And yeah, we'll have a pretty cool fight with Godfrey next time. I think. I mean, I I like Godfrey so. That should be an enjoyable encounter. I'm sure it's not going to be easy. But that's sort of the fun of it. He is one of the better late game bosses in this game, I think. Anyways, what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'll wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.